Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night whenever you are watching this video. So today's topic is going to be about skincare. I love skincare, you guys. Like skincare has been such a huge part of like my skincare journey for the past maybe year or so. I've done so much research, a lot of mistakes, and a lot of learning from so many products. And today I wanted to talk about cleansers. So double cleansing is something that I don't hear a lot of people doing and I don't know why. I personally love double cleansing and I just I love talking anything about skincare. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And not only am I gonna tell you guys some of the best and some of the not so best cleansers at the drugstore that I have personally tried and used and that I am going to recommend. So if you guys are interested in learning how to double cleanse, why you should double cleanse, and which double cleansers are going to be bomb for your skin and for your pocket, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It is free 99 so what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button, and if you do, then turn on your little campanita and your little bell so you can stay notified with all my videos. I do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this skincare video because I am way too excited. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, um, you guys are probably thinking, what is double cleansing? If you guys don't know what double cleanse is, literally, it's exactly what it sounds like. You are going to be double cleansing. So the first thing you're going to do is remove your makeup with some sort of oil. It can either be a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. There's really not much of a difference in my personal opinion. It's just more of a personal preference. And then you're going to go in wash it off and then go in and wash your face with your normal face wash so that is where the term double cleansing comes from why you should double cleanse at least in my personal opinion is because if you are a makeup wearer like me like i wear heavy makeup i wear primer foundation bronzer concealer setting powder highlighter bronzer blush i wear the whole shebang so i am a cake face loud and proud and so for me Whenever I used to remove my makeup straight up, like I would either get in the shower and just go in with my face wash and just try to take off my makeup. I don't know, you guys. Now that I've discovered a cleansing oil, I can never take off my makeup without it. First of all, if you are taking off your makeup with just your makeup, um, your makeup, your face wash, I, I don't know what I was trying to say with your face wash, A, you are more than likely going to strip away good bacteria. Just like in our stomach, we have good and bad bacteria. Our skin, our face is exactly the same. You don't want to remove too much of that good bacteria that we have in our skin that helps fight the bad bacteria. So by just using your face wash, you're going to be too harsh because more than likely you're not going to get everything removed. Even if you don't wear makeup and you're only wearing sunscreen, sunscreen tends to be very thick on the skin and it can eventually lead to clogging up your pores. So again, this is why double cleansing is so important. So I'm going to show you guys right away some of my favorite drugstore cleansing oils that I've been using or that I've used in the past that I highly recommend. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is actually one that I am totally out of. This is the Ponce Cold Cream Cleansing Balm and this is what this little guy looks like. This one I think retails for $9 or $10 at Walmart. Not sure how much it retails anywhere else but I love this one. Now Strangely enough, Ponce is one of those brands that I can't use their towelettes or any of their creams because it breaks me out. There's something in their ingredients that my skin just like, mm -mm, it doesn't like it. So when I first when I first saw this product, I was really skeptical to buy it because I know that my skin just doesn't like Ponce. But I am happy to announce <laughs> that I use the entire bottle. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good you guys I wish I had some left there's a little bit at the bottom but it's literally like 
just straight up almost if you guys know what coconut oil looks like it's hard but as soon as you start playing with it it gets to be emulsified and emulsifying a product it just means that it gets into that like milky creamy consistency so I love this one and honestly with this a little goes a long way it's a big jar you get 3.38 fluid ounces and again you don't need a lot all I did was grab a little bit of a scoop and then I would like rub it in between my fingers and just go in and massage my skin and just remove all the makeup off I love the way that it just breaks down the makeup it really gets in there and just ooh, it strips everything down it removes waterproof mascara it removes um, like my eyebrows, which I usually apply like a brow gel on my brows. So I never had any issues with removing this. And I also noticed that it didn't linger on the skin. Like after I took this off with a hot towel, I will go in and wash my face and I didn't see any residues. So I really, really enjoy this one. If you guys haven't tried it, please try it. And if you have tried it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because literally this is probably one of my all-time favorites. From all the ones that I've tried. Next is this is the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. This one actually contains coconuts and argan oils, which coconut is really good for your skin because it's a really good humectant. But if you use straight up coconut oil, it can clog your pores. So if you guys are wondering if you can personally use like regular oils like jojoba oil or like olive oil um or castor oil you can but it's not going to have the same effect because cleansing oils you know they're made to be makeup removers versus the natural oils that you will get at your local store they're a little bit thicker so they're not going to emulsify and it's not really going to break down the makeup you might even be a little bit rough on your skin so for me personally i just rather invest into a cleansing oil and these last me forever this one is for normal to dry skin and i really like this one you guys this one claims to be 100 natural with this cleansing oil i've been using it for a few months now and i mean you can see how low i am with this i love 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 this one this one is a little bit more on the pricey side compared to all the other ones if you buy it at target it's like 20 dollars. so don't buy it at target buy it at walmart at walmart it's like 13 dollars somewhere around there but what i really like about this one is that you literally only need one pump one pump it gives you so much product i personally really enjoy this one i literally have no complaints about it it doesn't smell like anything it just it's a very nice oily smell it does remove uh, stubborn makeup like waterproof mascara and things like that i personally don't use a lot of waterproof mascara but my sister did try it out and she said that she really liked it because she wears waterproof mascara so this one is really good again you just have to decide do you want something that has a pump which is nice and convenient or do you want a cleansing balm? Just, you know, personal choice. Now let's move on to one that I wasn't a fan of. And you guys will see that I haven't really used it. This one right here is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Double Cleansing Oil with Rose Tip and Aloe Vera. This is what it looks like. So I bought this one a few months ago. I mean, it's like practically brand new, you guys. And I didn't like it. This one is very thick very thick compared to this one this one is a little bit runny which maybe i can see some people not liking that but this one is just way too thick i'm gonna see if i can show you guys so it does have a nice pump the packaging is cute but when you pump it onto the back of your hand like this thing oh my gosh i wish you guys can feel it it is so thick on the skin and honestly i didn't like how it removed the makeup i felt like i had to work extra hard with it and it didn't really turn into that like milky consistency so i don't know this just wasn't it for me and i was really disappointed because it does have really good ingredients in it and this one was a little bit pricey you guys know physicians formula is like a higher end brand at the drugstore so i think this one was in between nine and thirteen dollars and i was just very disappointed in the product itself so this is one that i personally wouldn't recommend but if you enjoy a thicker oil then you might like this it's just again a personal preference for everybody everybody's different moving on to one that i did like that is also by physicians formula is this one right here this is the three in one melting cleansing balm this is for all skin types this is the perfect matcha this is what this one looks like and this one i am so close to running out i also really like this one it's 
very similar to the Pond's where it's a cleansing balm. Um, the only difference is that this one, I think you only get, this one you're only getting 1.4 ounces and this one you're getting 3.38. So you're getting a better bang for your buck with this one. Again, this one's $9, $10 and I think this one was around the same price at $9, $10, but you're getting almost half if not less than the Pond's. I really like this one though. I really like how soft it is and how creamy it is. You guys see that? This one as well just really melts into your skin. The only thing that I did notice with this one is that it doesn't remove waterproof makeup as well as the other cleansers that I have tried. So you do have to work with it a little bit more. Besides that, I enjoy it. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Again, because for the same price, you can get even more products and... I don't know I just like the formula on the Ponce uh, cleansing balm a little bit more than this one moving on to a product from Neutrogena so this one I actually came across it while I was shopping at Kohl's I don't know that I've seen it at Walmart if you guys have seen this one let me know this is the gentle cleansing lotion for sensitive skin I don't know how I feel about this one honestly it's like I'm in between I've used a bit of it but it's not my favorite. It's not an oil. And it doesn't claim to be an oil. It claim it does say that it's a cleansing lotion. So when you pump it, which again, hello, I love a pump. It is a white cream like this. And you're supposed to just rub it into the skin. But it literally just feels... It just feels like a lotion. Like, it doesn't do a good job at removing the makeup. The thing that I do like about this one, though, is that when I do remove everything, my skin feels very plump, very hydrated. It doesn't feel like it was just stripped away from, like, all the oils off of my skin. So I do enjoy that, but... Mm, I would say that I'm like 50-50 with this one. So another one that I really recommend and I actually don't have it. I think I threw away the bottle. I'm going to pull it up on my laptop here, but it is the Neutrogena and I'm going to post a picture. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. I really like the smell of it. It has a very nice like grapeseed oil scent, but it's not overpowering. And it does an amazing job at removing waterproof or stubborn makeup. The only thing is that this one is a little bit pricey. It's about $10 depending on where you buy it. And um, I feel like I run through it really quick. I think it's probably half of this one is probably about this big so now i'm gonna go ahead and jump into me showing you guys how i remove my makeup with the cleansing oils just so you guys can get an idea i will be doing a voiceover for the rest of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it was a little bit um, informative to you i try to do as much research as i can and i love talking about skincare i love taking care of my skin i am almost 30 you guys and i want my skin to look like it was 20 so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and also if i have missed any cleansing oils at the drugstore please let me know because i'm always on the hunt for a new one so without further ado let's get into the demo and i hope you guys enjoy it so here i have my, my little bowl with a towel and it is pretty warm i'm going to start off by taking off my lashes oh my god taking off your lashes is like taking off your bra literally the best thing ever i do use a little head wrap so i don't get like my baby hairs full of oil since i don't wash my hair that often so first i'm going to show you guys or i'm actually going to show you guys two different products i'm going to show you the Burt's bees cleansing oil and i'm also going to show you guys the physician's cleansing oil the balm just so you guys can see kind of how they both work so as you can see i take a small amount and i start rubbing that into the skin sometimes you can use your fingers or you can just go directly onto the skin honestly it's up to you sometimes i do sometimes i don't i'll just start massaging my skin very gently making sure that i get right into like the lash line and make sure that i get into like the neck and also just pretty much any little crevice that you have then I'm going to go in with the Burt's Beads Cleansing Oil. This one, you literally only need one pump and that is enough. And again, making sure that I concentrate, especially on the lash area, because that's where I apply mascara and I have lash glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my little cloth. Make sure that you obviously <laughs> wash this after you're done. But I do like the water to be pretty warm because A, it's super relaxing and B, it's just so easy to take off all the cleansing oil i do small circular 
motions around the skin i'm not being rough even if it looks like i'm being rough i promise you i'm being very gentle this is also going to exfoliate the skin at the same time and it's just going to take off all the excess makeup and around the eyes i just pat it because your skin is very sensitive around the eyes and then i make sure that i go into like the lash line and the water line to remove all the makeup so this is what the skin looks like after you remove your makeup. Now you just want to go ahead and do the rest of your skincare. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.